Hello, Barry Smith here again. I wanted to go over something with you that I go that I tell my students in class that uh, usually helps them understand IP addresses a whole lot more. Because believe it or not, you actually know more about IP addresses than you think you do um, right now. If you look at this number that I have here on the board, uh, many people, you know, I ask the students, I say, what is this? And many students immediately jump into, uh, well, it looks like a phone number to me. And, you know, I ask them things like, you know, well, how do you know it's a phone number? Well, I know that, you know, this area code here represents, uh, you know, the 205 is, is Central Alabama. Um, you know, and I say, but how do you know that? Well, I, I just do. I just know it. And if you think about it, you know, a phone number, if I were to give you a number, I haven't put any dashes or I haven't put any things that you normally see with a phone number up here on the board, but you've been trained to recognize a phone number your entire life, if you think about it. When you were a kindergarten, uh, in kindergarten, you know, one of the things you probably did was, you know, learn your phone number. Uh, it was a very common thing for kindergartners to do. So you've been taught this your entire life, and you know everything about that number because, again, you've been taught this your entire life. What I'm here to tell you is that what you know about this phone number or about any phone number is actually the exact same as an IP address. So let's break this down. I'll explain what I mean to you because it's actually pretty easy and you know more than you think you know. If you look at this number, uh, of course you can be in any part of the country or any part of the world, so this area code that you see here, it may not mean anything to you, but the, uh, the Virginia College uh, headquarters and the Virginia College campus that I'm at right now is in Birmingham, Alabama and the area code for Birmingham, Alabama is 205. The phone number for this campus is 802-1200. So let's break this down a little bit to things again that you should and probably already know. Most of the time you see a phone number that is written something like this. You put like parentheses in between the, you know, around the area code and you probably put a dash in between the phone number. And now it looks very much like a phone number like you're used to seeing. So let me ask you a question. Now we have to throw cell phones out, which I know that everybody has a cell phone nowadays and not very many people have a home phone anymore, but imagine back when we had just home phones and no cell phones. Would you agree with me that this area code here, 205, it's called an area code because it signifies what area of the country you're in. In this case, 205 means that you're in central Alabama. So again, throw cell phones out for just a second. Would you agree that every phone in central Alabama will start with an area code of 205? And the answer to that would be, should be yes. Yes, every phone starts with that. Whatever area code you live in, every phone that originates in that area will have that same area code because it signifies where you are. That's what an area code says, where you are. This number over here, the 802-1200, this number represents one person or one phone that is located somewhere in that area. So this number represents one person. This number represents the area. If you think about it, everyone who lives near you, more than likely, has the same area code as you do because you're all in the same area. But this number over here is different because we must have a unique number assigned to us because if we have the same number assigned to us, two different people have the same number, the phone system would get confused, and when you try to call that number, the phone system would not know who you're trying to get in touch with. The call would basically be dropped. So this number must be a unique number because it represents us as an individual. This number represents where we're at or the area in which we live in. If you understand that, which I'm sure you probably do, you already understand the relationship and IP addresses because part of the IP address represents something we call the network ID. And the network ID is where you are at, the network you're on, or the area code, same thing. The other part of the IP address represents something we call the node or host ID, which represents one computer, one object, that is located somewhere on that network. So again, everyone has the same area code because we're in the same area. Everyone who's on the same network will have the same network ID. It'll be the same for all of us. Our numbers will match if we're on the same network. But the node ID or the individual telephone number must be a different, unique number that says, this is me, this is my number. 
but I am located here. And if we're all located on the same network, we will be have the same network ID. So again, believe it or not, you already knew a whole lot more about IPs than you thought you do. So the next lesson we're going to go over is we're going to talk about breaking the classes down and I'm going to show you what part of IP addresses is the network ID and what part is the node ID. And so again, equate those in your mind, just don't forget, the network ID is like the area code and the node or host ID is just like the telephone number. It's that simple. Thank you very much.